my name is Anna and I'm working with media for Warm Norway and I'm on a journey of discovering all the bases in Norway. The next base is Warm Rogan, so come with me. So these are some things I know about Rugaland. It is in the southwest of Norway and the base is located on a beach. It's only 20 minutes away from Stavanger city and only five minutes away from the airport, which makes it super easy to travel. So let's go. Okay, I'm ready to see Rugaland. Oh, well, who are you? Hi, my name is Jessica. Do you want to take a look at our base? Oh, I would love to. Come on. <laughs> To our base, you see the coffee ministry that we have, taste and see the tuk tuk. And there's some places where you can chill and eat. Uh, if you turn around, you see the classroom. This is where we have classes and worship and intercession. So we have three DTSs in total, and we have right now the Winter Waves DTS and the Reach DTS. And in January, the Backpack DTS starts. The Winter Waves and Reach are soon ready to be going on outreach. We have also a BCC that runs in the spring and in the fall. The BCC stands for Bible Core Course, so it's three months. Uh, where you just dive into the Bible and where you learn how to study inductively. This is basically where the magic happens. Oh, look, there's Tom. He's the leader of the Winter Waves and he can tell you more about it. Hi, yes. So along with a couple other friends, I lead the Winter Waves. And the Winter Waves DTS obviously has your classic elements, your standard lecture phase weeks. But our big goal is we want to take our love for extreme sports and put the Lord before them and use those sports with God. And we want to be a bridge between the extreme sports community and the church. Practically, it looks like two times a week we have a track day where we go out into our big classroom over here and we do some surfing, some kite surfing. Uh, we have a link with Christian Surfers, Christian Kite Surfers Norway. We're actually good friends with the coach for Norway's national surf team. He just lives around the corner. Also, our outreaches are quite pointed. As I said, classic mercy ministry, but still we try and go to locations where these sports are really played out. Hold on, stop right there. I'm on the beach right now, and there are kiters here. And on the other side, they're surfing. They're right here. And this base is right. There. It's so close. You walk there in like five minutes. They're on the beach, guys, and they're kiting and surfing. How fun. You should come. Anyway, back to back to where we were. We're going to the dining hall now. This is where we uh, eat food, obviously. <laughs> right now, people are also studying here or doing whatever else. Uh, so here's where we have our meals and yeah, where we have long talks around the table. Love that. And as we enter the coffee hallway, we have our living room on the right hand with our incredible view on the sea. Very awesome. And they're kiting. You can just see it right there and they're making uh, sometimes like great jumps and stuff like that. This is also the place where we play games together, where we yeah, just have a time of rest and uh, time to just be in fellowship with one another. Oh look, there's Rebecca. She's one of the leaders of the REACH DTS. She's reading her Bible. Maybe you can ask her about what the REACH DTS actually is. REACH DTS is a DTS where we focus on reaching the least and last and the lost. So the lost team, they go out to reach the lost generation, the teenagers of Europe. The least wants to serve the least in the community, the orphans, the women in need, the prostitutes. And then we have the last focusing on the unreached so we are DTS that want to go the extra mile to reach those that have either not heard the gospel or they're excluded from the church. This is not everything that we have. We have also an upstairs, there are like offices and stuff. But this beauty here is a chapel. It's a bit windy outside. This chapel has been here for over 60 years at least. The person who found this place has been building this. And it's really a place where you can come together with God. A place to come and rest. Let's see, um, I know what they're doing, but probably yeah. praying. Of course they're praying, guys. They're, they're ah, holy people. Uh. Oh, look, there's CJ. 
Katja, she's one of the leaders of the Backpack DTS. Yes. Maybe we can ask her what it actually means to be in the Backpack DTS. Yes. Hi guys. So our saying for the Backpack DTS yes is to be simply but richly packed. So we have a big focus on reaching the unreached. We go hiking and trekking. We go blindfolded to trust in God. We go around the world to share the gospel. We bridge Africa and South America and we go to the 1040 window. And I'm gonna take you guys to our rooms because we also sleep here. This is the girls hallway. Up here we have the boys hallway. This used to be a former hotel actually, um, back in the day. Uh, but now the rooms are used for our students and for us as staff as well. So we even have a football field out here. Yeah, this is where we play our famous matches. Last time we had BCC against DTS. Ooh. It's always a bit uh, fiery then. But we're very sporty based, so we love to uh, hang out and play sports together. Yeah. Okay, I've talked to quite some people now, but I would really like to hear some words from the base leader. But I, I can't find him. Yes, you guys, can you help me? Sure, I can. Uh, let's let's see if he's uh, in here. No. Behind you? Here? Doesn't look like it, huh? Maybe here. Maybe he's here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Arlen also needed some new second-hand clothes. No, our base leader is stylish. Last option for where Arlen could be is in the economy office. Let's just check it out, shall we? There he is! Are you the base leader? Yeah, uh, yeah. What's your name? Oh, it's Arlen Zegler. What's your base vision for Drogelan? Oh, great question. I love to talk about that. Our base vision is that we want to redig the old wells of mission and revival in Rogaland. Because this county has maybe one of the world's most rich histories of missions and people going out from here. And we're dreaming to see fresh water in these wells coming again and seeing again a wave of missionaries leaving this place, training them on our base and sending them to the unreached, to the nations and to the spheres of society. Do you guys have any nations that you are connected with? Yeah, we have several. We have um, Israel and then we also have Austria and also in Mexico. And then the last nation is uh, one in Central Asia where we have an unreached people group that we're dreaming about seeing reached. Thank you for letting me come to your base. You're so welcome. You're welcome anytime. Thank you and so are you. So this is our base, Vajvam Rogalan. Thank you so much for coming to visit Hannah. Thank you so much for showing us the base. I would love to come back and I think you would love to come here. I think so too. Bye! Bye! Let's head home! See you for the next video!